what's going on with the Anglican Church? I'm not going to sit here and say that any other church in the world is spotless and the Anglicans are the only ones that are having problems. But I've got two videos now on crazy things happening in that church, and now there's this giant divide over LGBTQ issues. What's going on? Friction has been simmering within the global Anglican communion for many years over its 42 provinces' sharp differences on whether to recognize same-sex marriage and ordain LGBTQ clergy. This year, the divisions have widened as conservative bishops, notably from Africa and Asia, affirmed their opposition to the LGBTQ inclusion and demanded repentance by the more liberal provinces with inclusive policies. Two things recognizing same-sex marriage, and ordaining LGBTQ clergy. These are two things that are addressed by the Bible and are very clear, so I don't know why it's a problem. I mean, yeah, I do know why it's a problem, because people are sinners, and we can't make our minds up to follow God or not, seemingly. People are going to have differences and all kinds of things, but if you are ordained clergy of a church, surely you should be looking at what the Bible says, right? One, same-sex marriage. I know it's the like the most hot button issue, and I know I'm gonna get flack for this, so you know you already know what I'm gonna say, but I really am trying not to sound like someone who's hateful about this. Regardless, the Bible's pretty clear. It's it's really, really clear. Uh, men and women are supposed to be in marriage. Well, people aren't supposed to be in marriage, necessarily. You could be celibate your whole life if you wanted to. But if you do marry a man and a woman, pretty simple. I get that, that a lot of people will disagree with that, and a lot of people are free to go live life however they want, pretty much. It's not the right way to live, in my opinion, but you can do it. I mean, there's so many people in the Bible that God allows to go live their lives a certain way. It's not the right way, and he tells them not to do it, but he allows them to do it. So I'm not about to say that we're going to have some kind of crusade and go convert or kill all of the LGBTQ people. No, the, the whole point is to have a, a discussion and talk to people and try to convince them of this truth. Um, it's not going to be gigantically confrontational. I mean, you're, you're free to watch this video or to click off of it. I, I can't force you to stay here. But the Bible is pretty clear on what marriage actually is. Also ordaining LGBTQ clergy. This might seem like it's a more difficult issue, but I really don't think it is. Because understanding that everybody is a sinner and everyone does sin against God, no one is perfect, we still can see in the Bible, it's really clear that clergymen, that is priests, pastors, uh, the people who are actually leaders of religious groups, should be upstanding people and not living a life of sin. There's a difference between an individual sin and transgression. So, if I remember correctly, an individual sin would be hating somebody or punching somebody or even a murder. You know, that's that's one action against God and it's not good, but it's one action. A transgression would be a series of uh, sins, or maybe a lifestyle of sins. So that would be um, someone who goes around and sleeps with whoever they want to, or someone who's a uh, chronic alcoholic, uh, someone who's a serial killer, someone who is um, constantly hateful of other people, things like that. So under that umbrella would fall LGBTQ people, because if marriage is supposed to be between a man and a woman, then LGBTQ people are not only committing a sin by not doing that, but continuing in that, transgressing against God for maybe perhaps their whole lives. So it would not be good for those people if we were to ordain them in our own churches. It goes against what the Bible says about marriage and about relationships, and it also tells somebody what you're doing isn't a sin according to God when it very clearly is. So you're leading someone down a terrible path by telling them that the life that they live is perfectly fine when it really isn't. And I realize that this is a tough subject because people make certain things like their sexuality their whole thing. 
their entire self-worth is built upon their sexuality. So if you tack it at all, it's like equivalent to killing them. And I understand that, but it still must be said. I don't want to kill these people, I don't hate these people, but we're also told to go and make disciples of all nations to uh, convince other people of the truth, to show them this truth and have them make a choice. So, even though it hurts, I need to show people the truth. And the truth is that they, they shouldn't be living lives that are continual in their opposition to God. And they shouldn't be ordained in a church when they don't believe what the, Bible che- what the Bible teaches. If you are going to be ordained in a church where people teach the Bible, you should agree with what the Bible says. Seems pretty clear to me. What about you? I will see you next time when the world is even more crazy than this time.